Hi everyone, and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're talking about scientific notation. Scientific notation is a style of writing numbers to make them a little more manageable. It's used particularly for numbers that are very, very small or very, very big. For example, the length of a bacteria cell is on average 0 0.000002 meters. That's kind of a lot of zeros. So it can be simplified by writing it in scientific notation. In this case, 2 times 10 to the negative 6 meters. Scientific notation is also used for very, very big numbers. For example, the number of bacteria on average in the human body is 90 trillion. That is 13 zeros. So instead of having to write out all of these zeros, one can simply write this number in scientific notation. And you can see that that makes these extreme numbers more manageable. Now let's talk about how you get from this type of number to this type of number. The type of number like this that is not in scientific notation is called standard notation. And it is distinguished from this type of number, scientific notation, by two parts. That is, every number in scientific notation has a part called the coefficient, and a part called the power of 10. Now, a couple of rules for getting these correct. The coefficient is always at least 1, but smaller than 10. And you can see that here. The 2 and the 9 are both at least 1, but smaller than 10. The power of 10 is the part that comes next. So 10 to the minus 6 or 10 to the 13th, those are powers of 10. And important to make sure that you get the sign correct, whenever you have a very small number, so the standard notation that is less than 1, you're going to have a negative exponent, so the negative 6 on the power of 10. Whenever you have a very, very big number, that exponent is going to be a positive number. So here the 13 is positive. Now let's do a couple of examples in taking standard notation and converting them to scientific notation. For example, with 36,000, the key is following the decimal points. In 36,000, there is an understood decimal right here. And it's going to move until it gets to a place where the coefficient is at least 1, but smaller than 10. In this case, 3.6. So the decimal will move 1, 2, 3, 4. Four places to where it separates the 3 and the 6. That gives us a coefficient of 3.6. And here, the power of 10 is 4. But don't forget the sign. Because this is a big number, we confirm that the 4 here is positive. So 3.6 times 10 to the 4th is the scientific notation for 36,000. Let's do another example, this time with a small number. 0 0.00135. Again, we move the decimal point to get it to the right place for a coefficient. Here, we're going to move it 1, 2, 3. Three places, and our coefficient becomes 1.35. And again, that coefficient is at least 1, but smaller than 10. And now it's time for our power of 10. We write times 10, and here we double check the 
places that the decimal moved, one, two, three places. But here, because this is a small number, smaller than one, this exponent has a negative sign. So 0 0.00135 is the standard notation. The scientific notation for the same number is 1.35 times 10 to the negative 3. That's it for today. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.